EA Sports coverage of the NFL brings us to the City of Angels, Los Angeles, California. Coming up, we got a good matchup on tap here as it'll be the Chicago Bears taking on the L.A. Chargers. With Charles Davis, as always, I'm Brandon Gauden. Now, Charles, you and I, we've done a lot of games together. Always seems like we're rehashing the same storylines. Turnovers, of course, always a big story. Quarterback play, running backs, yada, yada, yada. But... Two teams more than ready to get this one started. And we are underway in Southern California. And no run back here, so they'll bring it out to the 25. Here are the Chargers ready to go on offense, led by their first-round pick in 2020. The man out of Oregon, Justin Herbert. It hasn't taken Herbert long to earn the status as one of the league's best and most entertaining passers. He's locked and loaded on every snap. And the second he sees an opening, the ball soaring downfield. You've got to be on your A game at all times against him. The second you slip up, he's liable to burn you. Uh, nowhere to go for Herbert, and he's going to go down. Jaquan Brisker getting sent on the safety blitz, and he was able to finish it off. A lot of talk the other day about them wanting to quiet this home crowd early and often. Very first play of the game, they do just that. You're exactly right about that because that's often a conversation when you go on the road and you travel. Hey, let's take the crowd out of it. What a great way of doing so by putting the quarterback on the deck. A little short pass. This is Everett. So the completion good for just three. And they're going to face an uphill battle here on third and long. Oh, it's time to give a little credit there to the defense. They played that very well because it was a drag route, and he ran it a little shallower than normal as he worked straight across the field. He was hoping he'd get lost behind the defensive line, but once he made the catch, nowhere to turn up field and gain any yardage. And boy, he is very close to a first down, but from where they're spotting that football, he's going to be a foot or so short. On third down, you'll give them that. You just want to make sure that you play the first down line. They were able to get him down and force the punt. On fourth down, J.K. Scott ready to punt it away. Back deep, Trent Taylor. Fielded at the 20. It's a 41-yard punt, but just a net of 31 following the run back. And the Bears take over. So out comes this offense to take over for the first time. They'll be led out by a man who nearly broke the single-season rushing record for quarterbacks last season. A true dual threat out of Ohio State, Justin Fields. Coming out of Ohio State, one of the top prospects in the NFL draft, and it was so big that they moved up in the draft to get him, to make sure that they had him. And, boys, he got the full package. Loves the game. Big-time arm. 4-4 speed. So good that another quarterback prospect said to him, what's it feel like to run 4-4? Everybody wants to be that fast. Now second and eight at the 32-yard line. Now some movement before the snap. And we'll hear from our referee for the first time this afternoon. That flag accepted, and it backs the offense up a little bit. And that false start penalty is certainly not helping their cause here. Second down and long. And he will lose yardage and be backed up to the 24. It'll be a loss of a full three yards there, and it also brings up third down. Ran it last time, now fields to throw. And that will be incomplete. Sometimes the game is pretty simple. Put a few extra defensive backs on the field, give them nowhere to throw the football, force the incompletion, and get off the field on third down. On fourth down, Chicago brings out Trenton Gill. 
Back deep for L.A. is Darius Davis. Fair catch called for and taken right near the 30-yard line. A 41-yard punt there with no return. And it'll be Charger football here as they take over. From the 32 now, here's first and 10. A shotgun snap for Herbert. It's taken in by Quentin Johnston. And they're going to have this across midfield and inside the 45. A really nice gain of 25 yards. Certainly no settling into the drive there. They came right out on the first play and attacked the middle of the field for a big gainer and a first down. So into Bear territory now. This is first and 10 at the 43. Herbert. And he'll find his man on the out route. That's Allen. And he's tackled a yard short of the marker. Good gain of nine on first down. Second down and a little more than a yard here. Out of the gun, Herbert. Give him another one right back to Allen. Back-to-back -back receptions for him, and it's another first down. Justin Herbert looking to pass. This is swung out to Eckler, and he is going to lose yardage here. That one unable to develop, never got going. A loss of a couple, and it's second down. Well, Brandon, we could see that play developing, and they were hoping that he was going to be able to put a move on the first guy and turn it into a big play. But no such luck. The speed on defense continues to get better and better in the NFL. Pretty nice example there of those guys being able to run from their assignments and finish off that play. And he is going to lose yardage here. It'll be a loss of two, maybe three on the play. And they're going to be staring at a third and long here. It looked like the defense, they were ready for that one. Really left him almost no room to work after catching the ball. He could throw every move in the book at him. They were there, and they tackle him for a loss. Herbert back to the air. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. And he's going to have another first down as the tackle is made here at the Bears' 13-yard line. Boy, a nice play there as they wind up converting on third and 15. He's certainly done a nice job spreading the field on this drive, and here he finds his big tight end for good yardage. And that's what you have to do. Keep defenses guessing about where you're going to go with the football. From the 13 now, they work on first and 10. Here's the first carry for Austin Eckler. A little juke. And he takes it inside the 10 to the 8 before he's out of bounds. They're backed up here with a first and 20 now after the holding penalty. Again, Herbert. Open man. Johnston, touchdown Chargers. 23 yards for the touchdown. And the Chargers get the upper hand as they're on the board first here this afternoon. And they use that height on the outside to get the score. We've seen the evolution of the wide receivers. They've gotten taller and taller, but they've retained their quickness and their speed. It's a lethal combination. Always good to have wide receivers with height. Extra point up and good by Dicker. And that makes the score 7-0. So that winds up a seven-play drive all told. And it was Quentin Johnston who finished that drive off with a touchdown grab. So after the touchdown, here's Dicker out to kick this one off. 
And the drive will begin at the 25 as Scott is going to stay in the end zone. Chicago works their way back onto the field here for their second drive of the game. And the last drive, their first drive, three and out. What changes here, if anything? I think it's making sure the guys that you trust the most with the ball, the biggest playmakers you have, that they touch it on this possession to try and get things moving. So get it to the horses. Without a doubt. They're the ones that typically end up in the end zone. They'd love to just strike back with a touchdown right here. And if it's a long play, so be it. But the main goal, get a couple of first downs, run some plays, run some clock, allow their defense to get a chance to catch their breath, settle down, and relax a little bit after they just gave up the score. On second down, here's the option. And this will be a Bears first down as the tackle made at about the 38. And this is one of those plays that if you can use it to keep the chains moving, it's a good play. And not only that, it tends to tamp down the pass rushers because they have to recognize this play and stay at home. The quarterback uses it well. Read option, keeps it, and picks up a first down with some nice running. Now nowhere for Fields to turn, and down he goes. Multiple players combined for their team's first sack of the game. And this is what you've got to do against a quarterback like him. You've got to keep him in the pocket and not let him get to the perimeter because once he gets outside, that's where he can really hurt you. Now that after the sack, it'll be interesting to see what they have planned for second and 23. Option left is Fields. And good pursuit yet again by the Chargers as they stuff him behind the line. Just a one-yard loss that time, but that's not what they needed. Now they're dealing with a third and long. And not a lot of success to be found there. Oh, you got that right, partner, because if you're trying to make guys miss about 10 yards or so downfield, that's a pretty good play. But if you've got to do it in your own backfield, I consider that a problem. That doesn't work too well. And that is incomplete. Fourth down, so they send out Trenton Gill. His first punt, 45 yards. This looks good as well. Fair catch called for and made right at the 25-yard line. So possession goes over here on the punt. And out will come the offense as they take over. Herbert going to lead up the Chargers here, first and 10 at their own 26. Here's Eckler to begin the drive. And not a whole lot there. Maybe a yard to the 27. Yeah, things were pretty stacked up there in the middle of the line. A lot of bodies, not much space. I think ultimately, he was fortunate to get anything out of that run. Still nine yards to go on second down from the 27. Now it's Herbert. And that would get the Target and incomplete. Defensively, celebration time because they finally forced an incompletion. He was perfect throwing the ball to that point. Yeah, but from his viewpoint, they didn't force the incompletion. He just missed. That's how hot he is right now, and that's how he wants to continue to throw the ball. After an incomplete pass on second down, that'll leave him trying to convert on third and nine. Herbert now. He's got a man complete. The Chargers have taken a 13 to nothing first quarter lead. Well, you know he can be explosive, and he's ultra explosive there on the fly route. And you know how many times we've talked to coaches and we've had quoted back to us, well, you know something? When you execute really well, it doesn't matter if they know it's coming or not. But sometimes athleticism beats you as well. He just took off and went. And that's almost like one of your turkey bowl games, isn't it? <laughs> just go long, Backyard. man. I'll hit you. And it worked really well for them. Extra point up and good by Dicker. And it's now 14 to nothing.
And here's Dicker now as he'll send this one away. And the drive will begin at the 25 as Scott is going to stay in the end zone. At the line, prepping for their next drive, the Bears offense. They've shown precious little here offensively thus far as they try again with a first down now. And he'll be taken down here as it will take us to the end of the first quarter. 14-0 the score. This is the NFL on EA Sports. The Bears with the football. We get set to begin quarter number two. Second and six, just inside the 30. As they've got it as we resume action. And they run the option on second down. And down he goes, but he takes it up to the 40. The decision to keep it turns out to be a good one. 11 yards in the first down. It looked like almost a miscommunication defensively because once he decided to keep it, he had pretty smooth sailing. Yeah, it became a question of, wait a minute, who's got the quarterback? And when you talk about miscommunication, it's supposed to be called assignment football on the defensive side of the ball. But the assignment gets mixed up. That's the end result. He's going to look deep for more. And this is caught inside the five. A huge play there for Chicago. 59 yards. Ah, so often when we're watching a football game, we see one with a lot of ebbs and flows, and this one is no different. And sometimes you just need a big play to wake you up a bit. And they get one right there. That shot of caffeine this offense was looking for. After the big play, a chance to finish now on first and goal. Herbert is going backwards as he'll be tackled back at the four-yard line. That's going to go as a loss of two, and it'll be second down. I have a feeling they'll stay committed to running the football, especially on the early downs. They just haven't had a whole lot of success just yet. From back at the four, here's second and goal. Back to throw. Fields flushed out right. And he takes this one in for a Bears touchdown. Justin Fields taking it in from four yards out. And the Bears have cut it back within a score. Hey, you're down on the scoreboard, but now your offense is in close, and this is where, as a quarterback, you say, I've got to make a play here. Doesn't matter whether it's a pinpoint throw or a scramble like this one. He takes matters into his own hands and delivers a touchdown run. Santos able to tack on the extra point, and that'll make our score 14 to 7. To the touchdown. Here's the punter Trenton Gill to kick it away. And Davis content just to bring this out to the 25 yard line. And we spotlight Keenan Allen as he gets set to go back to work. He's already approaching 100 yards and has the touchdown. I'm sure on that opposite sideline right now, they're scratching their heads saying, All right, what do we do? And the hard part is, even if you limit him to a short catch, he has that make-you-miss ability right. to take it for big yardage and put in the end zone again. So trying to blanket him is very difficult, but ultimately, you've got to find a way to put him on the ground, tackle him, and he doesn't make that easy. Well, they're struggling with that so far. They'll break the huddle, come up on second and eight at the 27-yard line. They're going to go toss right side with Eckler. Escapes the defender. And he goes out of bounds just shy of the 45. 17 yards for the Chargers there as they've got themselves a first down. That toss play right, we know it's one of the successful plays they have in their arsenal, and they showed you why there. And remember, in order for it to be successful, because it's a little bit of a slower developing play, those blocks at the line of scrimmage have to be kept have to be held so that the runner can get to the corner and turn it upfield. field. 
Running on first down, Eckler. No dice this go around. He's hit behind the line and taken down. He'll lose a yard there, and it's second and 11. He came out ready to play. That's three tackles for a loss, Charles, rolling the second quarter. And that's problematic for the guys trying to run offense because that means he's got a pretty good idea of what they're doing and is actually beating them to the point of attack and making those plays. You might have to think about some misdirection or something to try and get him away from the ball. Yeah, that's good for a gain of six, and it brings up third and five now. They'll need five on this play to move the sticks. On third down, here's Eckler. And he's going to be taken down here, still a couple yards short of the first. Call it a gain of three, and it'll bring up fourth down. Now, that was a big-time play by the defense. They as well knew where the first down line was, and they didn't let them get anywhere near it. Here's J.K. Scott set to do the punting honors. And this one will not be returnable as it sails out of bounds. The Bears offense ready to get going again. This drive here beginning probably with a pair of motivated groups. Remember the offense scored a touchdown on their last time out looking to repeat that in Charles's defense. They were very frustrated after giving up six the last time on the field. And frankly, it's just a battle of wills in a lot of ways because you know they're both motivated. They both game plan for this drive, and they both have specific outcomes in mind. To me, it just comes down to who can execute better and which side can step up and assert its will over the other. Second down and three. Field's going to keep it running right. Now he's free at the 35. He may go. Touchdown, Chicago. Justin Fields with his second touchdown here in this first half. And the Bears are able to strike quickly here as they are in for six. Well, Charles, he's already proven that he's not afraid to tuck that football down on the option, and he's into the end zone for the second time in the game. And that's exactly what you need from your quarterback. The ability to run the ball fearlessly. And in fact, many quarterbacks will tell you running the football doesn't scare them. Standing in the pocket and taking blindside hits, that's what terrifies them. Santos with the extra point, and we are tied at 14. So two plays on that scoring drive. That's how they drew it up. And the long run into the end zone, and what a run it was. This one tied at 14 now as he sends this one away. And Davis content just to bring this out to the 25-yard line. The offense for Los Angeles returns to the field. And that 14-0 lead to begin the ball game. well, that's gone now. Time to regroup. I think even up two touchdowns, they knew this wasn't going to be a walk in the park. And I think that's why we would see the head coach going up and down the sidelines telling his team, let's stay with it. Let's keep going. It's almost like he knew they were going to make their run at him. And they have. As you said, let's see if they can regroup and get going again. You could tell they wanted to get that ball downfield, but they had nothing working in the secondary. So he dropped it off to the running back. That one ended up incomplete. An incomplete pass leads to second and 10 from the 25. Now Herbert with it, looking to pass. He's got his man. That's Everett, the tight end. And he has a big gain inside the 40 before being dropped. That one good for 37 yards. Despite writing it down on my notes, I never give enough credit to the offensive line, and we have to here. The protection, that's what made this play a success. Quarterback had to wait for his crossing route to develop, and that takes a little bit of extra time. Excellent job by the big fellas up front. 
So how about that for a chain mover? They're all the way down inside the 40 now for first and 10. Herbert will give this one to Eckler. And they're going to stop him right at the line of scrimmage. Just no cutback lane to be found whatsoever. Second and 10. Looked like he was trying to bounce it outside, but no success. Yeah, sometimes you got to just figure out where you're going to go, and sometimes you just have to take it to another spot. And trying to get it outside, the defensive pursuit was there and just ran him down. Eckler are going to get it again on second down. And he'll follow his blockers there all the way down to the 23-yard line. Give him 15 yards on that one and a charge your first down. But well, they're getting ready to go to work now in prime real estate after that last run. Found his spot and picked up nice yardage, didn't he? And now he's got him knocking on the door of the red zone. Option play and they'll give to Eckler. And brought down, but not before they get it inside the 10 to the 7. A good gain again. That's now 31 yards combined on those last two plays. We often give credit to the O-line there. Two tight end formation. Those tight ends block pretty well also. Yeah, and that's one of the most dynamic positions in football now. The tight ends who can block at the line of scrimmage at the point of attack, and they can also get downfield and catch the football. They'll try the air now with Herbert. And this one nearly picked off. Well, kind of surprising to see a defender of his caliber let it get away, but get away it does, and it's second down. To this point, I've been impressed with the work defensively. They have not allowed a lot of receivers to run free, and there's another example, another incompletion. On second down, here's Herbert. Open man, it's Johnston. Touchdown, Chargers. Great effort there with his second touchdown here in this first half. And the Chargers have taken the lead. In the second quarter and already his second touchdown reception. Absolutely the definition of a difference maker here in this first half. Clearly one of his quarterback's favorite targets in this game. And I figure he's going to draw a little more attention and coverage moving forward. Extra point up and good by Dicker. And the lead is now 21-14. Now after the Dicker field goal, he's back out, ready to send it away. Tyler Scott now from his end zone. And he'll be dropped at the 21-yard line, so bringing it out of the end zone proves not a good decision. Loses him about four yards. On first down, it's Fields. There's a short throw. It's caught by Komet. And the result here, a pickup of eight. Leaves him with two to go on second down. Well, that's always a good place to throw it just because he's one of the biggest targets not only on this team but in the National Football League. And you and I both know the quarterbacks love these large body tight ends and why not? Nowadays, they're really wide receivers who are just taller and have a little bit more weight. These guys catch the football, make big plays downfield. In the old days, we wanted them to block. Now coaches want them to catch the football first. The catch and run, good for 18 and a first down. Good route, good pickup for first down yardage, and that is a tough one to cover, the angle route, because a running back getting out of the backfield, if you're trying to cover that, especially if you're in the linebacker spot and you're seeing this play develop, he heads out towards the flat first, and that often gets you to overcommit running in that direction. Then he cuts back up inside you into the middle of the field. That's what we just saw there for a nice pickup. Chewing up big yardage, another nice gain there. This one goes for 20. You always worry about those smaller receivers running through that gnarly patch of land in the middle of the field. But he did a really nice job there holding on to the football and protected himself as best he could while completing the play. Fields throw complete here to commit. Now the Bears going to call the first of their timeouts as the clock will stop with 35 seconds to go in quarter number two.
Just need a yard here. Second and one. Now Fields. He's got Lewis. And he's brought to the ground with another first down at the Chargers 14. Now the Bears going to use the second of their timeouts. So that means they're down to one remaining here as we head toward halftime. Here's a first and 10 at the 14-yard line. Fields now to throw. And he's got Mooney in the end zone. Touchdown, Chicago. Darnell Mooney, a 14-yard touchdown. And the Bears are an extra point away from tying the ball game here in the final minute of the first half. These two teams in this first half, it's been fun. Back and forth, back and forth. Well, it's not fun for the defensive coordinators, <laughs> but offensive coordinators are enjoying it. Yeah, they're having streaks here, aren't they? Being able to put scores together and, and really bunch them up, and we have a tight game here. You know, we often talk about having the right shoes for the right turf. Today is track shoes, because that's what we've seen <laughs> with these offenses. Yeah, it's been an absolute track meet so far, and fun to watch. A couple of teams locked into a good one here. 21 all the score as the kick's away. And not wanting to risk anything here late in the half, he'll just take a knee and they'll bring the football out to the 25. The Chargers going to take over here one more time before the half. And with time quickly fading here in the second quarter, not sure how aggressively, offensively they want to play this. I think we'll find out just how much they trust their guys in this situation if they decide to take a shot. Well, the Chargers going to signal for the first of their timeouts as it comes with 22 seconds to go here in half number one. A big hitter to start the drive has him up near midfield here for first and ten. Here's Herbert. Oh, he was hit as he threw it there, and that one winds up incomplete. You've always been very good about checking my math. Am I correct? That's the first time that it's been incomplete when they've thrown it to him? Yes, he had caught every other ball coming his way. So they feel like they've got something really good going there, and they're going to continue to go there until the defense makes an adjustment and takes it away. Well, they finally made an adjustment there. We'll see if they can build on that stop. A little short pass. This is Edwin. And a good stiff arm there before he's brought down on a nice little game. Now the Chargers will use the second of their timeouts. So that means they're down to one remaining here as we head toward halftime. Could be four down territory even if they don't get this, but they need just a few inches here on third. Back to throw here, Herbert. A throw left sideline falls incomplete. That is certainly one way to frustrate a quarterback. Run those extra defenders on the field. Dime package, lots of speed, no space to fit in the football. Here's J.K. Scott now as he's on to punt for L.A. He's been a busy man here in this first half as he gets it away. Out of bounds and close. The question, was it a touchback? No. They'll say it crossed out at the two-yard line. Excellent placement. And off that bounce, Charles, I didn't know where it was going to go. It can be an inexact science as to where they place it, but they say the two-yard line. Yeah, I don't know how they really determined that. And let's face it, at the end of that play, one side's going to be happy. The other team's going to be unhappy. So, what did they do, shorten the hypotenuse? I mean, how did they figure that out? You know that stuff. You're the smart guy. Oh, that's you, partner. So thanks to the late touchdown, it's a time ball game here heading to break. As we'll send you eastward to Orlando, standing by with that EA Sports Halftime Report now is Jonathan Coachman. Take it we away, Coach. We thought this one would be a close battle coming in, and we have not been disappointed. They're all even to this point. 
This has the feeling of a game that could go right down to the wire. One mistake or one big play could turn out to be the difference. Okay, Coach, yeah, adjustments likely going to play a big role in this third quarter in what's been a tight contest so far. started for the second half it was an even first half all tied on the scoreboard and this will not be returned so the second half begins with a touchback so here's the Bears offense now as they get set to start this third quarter this offense ready for the first drive of the third quarter well quarters number one and two entertaining we saw some good offense points put up Charles and all tied on the scoreboard. And it sets us up for what could be a really fun second half because we've seen both sides score almost at will here in the first half. And now here in the second half, getting the ball first, you've got to think, hey, we can go out and really run our offense the way we did in the first half. But if I'm a defensive player, all I'm thinking is, can I make a play to really help out my team and break this streak of offense? On second down, a run with Herbert. And he'll be brought down right around the 37. A gain of five, good enough for the first down. Second and two is prime time for a little bit of a gamble, isn't it? Open up the playbook, go play action, toss that bad boy deep. But in this situation, go ahead and give it to your back. Let him pick up a first down, keep the sticks moving. They run it on first with Foreman. And he is met at the line of scrimmage, and he goes down right there. Tackle made by Eric Kendricks. As usual, the hallmark of a good run defense, linebackers making plays near the line of scrimmage. Absolutely nowhere to run there. Second and ten. A give left side here for Herbert. A gain there of 12 yards and a first down for the Bears. Well, as we've learned over the years, just because a guy plays left tackle doesn't mean he doesn't have run blocking abilities. And we just saw it there. Controlled the line of scrimmage, created a big gain. That's kind of a bonus. He's there to protect that high value that you have back under center, but he creates space in the run game. Yeah, not only can he dance, he can mash too. Now motion left with Mooney. On first down, right back to Herbert. And he can only manage to get a couple. Second and eight coming up. You've got to be impressed by that defensive front on reps like those. They were not being moved off the line, kept their shoulders square, and gave their teammates time to fight to the ball and limit that gain. From a couple of yards beyond midfield, here's second and eight. Herbert once more. And they get him behind the line. And so that short gain on first down quickly negated. That's a big loss of three, and it brings up third down. Sometimes you just sit back and marvel at what he can do defensively. Speed, strength, quickness, he's the whole package. And that package just wrapped up the runner for a loss. Seventh play of this drive coming up, and a long way to go on third down. Now, nowhere for Fields to turn, and down he goes. Khalil Mack able to get him down behind the line of scrimmage, and it will be fourth down. But that time, finally, a measure of revenge as they get him down behind the line. It almost felt like relief, didn't it? Because with the success he's had throughout this game, you'd almost expect him to get free and pick up 10 to 15 every time he takes off. Not in that case. That has to feel good for the defense. Wide receiver Keenan Allen bringing out the rest of this offense. And I know that they've double teamed him a couple times, but not a ton. Whatever they're doing isn't working. He's up over 100 yards. We'll see how they adjust. 
And when they do that, they weaken their defense in other places as well. And how many times have we done games where we've seen a guy have a big game like this? But it's usually not by himself, is it? Right. Usually it opens it up for other people to have big games as well. They'll give him four yards there, and it'll be second down. All defense is worried that whenever anyone catches the ball and has a head of steam come out of the backfield, it can turn into a big play with missed tackles or he runs through people. But they were right there waiting, and they stopped him for a minimal gain. Play action. It's Herbert. And this one is going to be off the mark, too far out in front. One thing I have learned, receivers don't mind high throws so much to the sideline, but do that over the middle to them, and not only are the DBs going to throw a little verbal trash their way, when they get back to the huddle, they're going to have a few words to say to their QB, aren't they? Yeah, hung out to dry a little bit there on the high throw. Luckily, fell incomplete. Going to throw on third down with Herbert. That is caught. He's by himself. Keenan Allen. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. A very solid gain of 27. But the kind of game he's had so far, you had to know that on third down, that they would be looking his way, and they did for big yardage and a first down. I think the defense fell asleep with the switch on that one. I would have doubled him, tripled him, anything to keep the ball out of his hands. So into Bear territory now. This is first and 10 at the 49-yard line. To the air again, Herbert. And he'll go right back to Allen. That's complete. And he's going to get this down near the 30-yard line. It's another first down as they look his way again, this time 19 yards. Every now and then I can speak from experience because I do know as a defender, it is awfully hard to stay with your man on these crossing routes because even if you don't get picked, there's a danger of being picked either by one of their receivers or maybe by your own defender. And on that play, that worked quite well. And he edges forward but only gets a pair of yards out of it. And it's second down. Certainly a nice job there by the defense rallying to the football and getting him on the ground. But I think the play gets made by the defensive front because if they can't get upfield, their job is to go ahead and get low, almost get into a ball sometimes, stack things up, and make it difficult for the runner to find a hole. Here's Herbert. Johnston on a quick slam. And they'll get him down inside the red zone at the 14. It's also a gain of 14. First down. And that's a more than acceptable read right there because it's zone coverage, so timing is everything. This time he waits for his man to come open, puts it right on him, and they pick up a first down. Here's a first and 10 at the 14-yard line. Eckler now between the tackles. And he'll fight his way down right around the 12. Two yards on the pickup there. It'll be second and eight. Well, they certainly had success throwing the ball on this drive and not as much running it as we just saw once again on that last play. Stopped after a very short gain. But I wouldn't abandon the run totally because otherwise, pass rushers just tee off on your quarterback. Makes it very, very difficult for him in that situation. Throw right side is into the hands of his tight end, Everett. Call it a gain of three on the play. And it brings up third and five now. That was an okay hookup there with his tight end, but unfortunately, they didn't get the kind of yards they had hoped for. That's going to bring up third down. They'll break the huddle and come up on the ninth play of this drive, needing five yards on third down. Herbert able to find the open man. That's complete. And the Chargers are going to have first and goal as they try to finish off this drive with six points. Would it be safe to say that as precise as routes are supposed to be run in the NFL, maybe they're not quite as precise in college ball? That's accurate, yeah. And I think we saw a college route in the NFL there. Just find the soft spot, find the dead zone, and find the first down. And that's what he just did. Eckler diving for the end zone, and he is in. Touchdown. Sometimes offensive can get too cute down near the goal line, but there's nothing fancy about this one. As Coach Lombardi would say, we get a seal here, and we get a seal here, and we run this play in the alley. And that's good work to hit the hole hard and finish in the end zone. Extra point up and good by Dicker, and they will take a seven-point lead.
So after the touchdown, here's Dicker out to kick this one off. Scott on the return out of the end zone. And he'll be tackled just shy of the 25. The Chicago offense set to get started. Over on the sideline, hoping to hit that reset button between possessions. Last time out, they had to punt it away. This time, hoping to finish this thing off in the end zone. Starting on the ground with Herbert. And he gets forward up the middle, but only for a couple. It'll be second down. He continues to struggle to find a crease to break off a big one and might need to just put that aside and just try and ram his way forward and get what he can. Here's a second and eight. Here's Fields. That's complete to Mooney. And he's taken down but able to slip across the 35. Fields to Mooney for the Chicago first. I'll tell you what, a lot of those mid-range throws have been available because sometimes teams get too concerned about the deep ball and they leave too much space in front of them. And these guys have been taking advantage so far. On first down, Fields. That is incomplete. I have to give some credit to the defender on that when he read all of his keys perfectly and got a great break on the ball and able to force that incompletion. Now this will probably be the last play of the quarter. Read option, here's Herbert. And he'll be taken down after a minimal pickup, and that will take us to the end of quarter number three. So they'll get a little extra time to come up with his third down play as we played three quarters. We'll return with more after this. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. The Bears on third down, 0 for 3 to this point. They could use a conversion. This is third and eight to throw his fields. He's got his target. That's complete. And he's brought to the ground with another first down at the Chargers 42. 18 yards on that one, and Chicago has the first. I like the design that we're seeing right there. This is what they need. Down by a touchdown here in the fourth. They just need to keep working their way downfield. And when they see openings, take their shots. The drive continues as they search for a tying touchdown. Here's first and ten. On the option right is Fields. Give him three on the keeper there, and it is second down. Well, that's not a run that's going to make any of the highlight tapes, but they've been moving it well all game on the ground. This is another one that keeps them moving forward. Second and seven. St. Brown motioning left. Well, they'll run it here on the jet sweep. And he's going to fight his way forward here for a modest game. Personal foul. Face man. Defense. Well, certainly those are the types of mistakes they're trying to avoid as they attempt to protect this lead late in the game. And let's face it, they're hoping that this one doesn't cost them in a significant way. Yeah, one guy committed a penalty, but now the entire defense has to pay the price and try and rise up and overcome it. Herbert powering up the middle. Credit him with a one-yard gain there to make it second and nine. And the big fella stuffed that one up in a big way. I think doubling him has to be a priority because you can't move up to the next level if you don't take care of him first. Now second and nine. They'll go again with Herbert. Fights through him. Unable to corral him. He fights through. And the Bears are going to have a first and goal as he's able to take this inside the 10 to the 8. Seemed like a couple sets of eyes were on the quarterback, so he decided, hey, I'm going to hand this off. Got a good gain out of it. And you know you need good blocking up front in order to gain yardage, but every one of these RPOs, if you do it right and they look the same, whether it's handed off inside or the quarterback keeps it, that allows you to fool the defense so often. And in this case, fooled them with the inside run. Give him three on the game there, second and goal. That's good power football on first and goal. A lot of teams will throw from there, 
but that's a nice job to chew up a few more yards and get yourself closer to the goal line. And the ball smack dab on the five-yard line. Here's second and goal. Here's a give to Herbert. And he'll get this one back to the five-yard line, but no further than that. It'll go as no gain on the play, and now they're looking at a third and goal. His path became similar to almost running a stretch play, didn't it? Trying to find a crease, anywhere to put his foot in the ground and cut back. It just never materialized. Now Fields on third and goal. And he's got it. A four-yard pickup, not enough. Fourth down. Well, they certainly didn't get what they wanted on that play. That means it's a big-time decision on what you call on fourth down. Absolutely, because a field goal here doesn't do them much good. Likely the play of the game here, trailing in the final quarter and going for it on fourth and goal. They're going for it. Here's Herbert. And he's into the end zone. Touchdown, Bears. It's a one-yard touchdown run, and the Bears are an extra point away from tying this game here on the fourth. And we are set up for a fantastic finish now, a fourth-quarter touchdown here, and we're an extra point away from a tie football game. And I know they're thinking about possibly going for two, but I'd go ahead and kick this one and just get it back to level. Don't forget the extra point. It's up and good. And, partner, we've got a tie game here in the fourth. Now this one setting up for a great finish. All tied in the fourth as the kick's away. And we'll see a return here from the end zone. And he'll be stopped right around where he would have been had he gone down to a knee, maybe a yard shy of there at the 24. And the L.A. offense ready for this next possession. Well, they just gave up the score to tie it. That's the bad news. The good news, plenty of time in this fourth quarter to try to grab that lead back. Nowhere to go that time. Might have gotten a yard up to the 25. That felt like a trap because it looked to me like the opposing front was on that play from the get-go. They had everyone crashing the ball carrier before he even made the line, and they hold him to just a yard. From the 25, here's a second down and nine. Justin Herbert looking to pass. On the screen, this is Eckler. And he'll be upended at the 28-yard line. Just a three-yard gain there. Good reactions there defensively. That screen was a little slow in developing, and they shut that one down with a little gain. They'll come up facing third and five. Herbert now. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. 23 yards on the play. Now that was a fun one to watch right there. A nice in-breaking route and plenty of room in the middle of the field. And he was able to get behind the linebackers and grab the completion. On first and 10, Herbert. Looking deep downfield. And this is incomplete. Oh, it looked like he had a pretty good line on that one. That would have been a big play, but he could not pull it in. Oh, man, late in the tight ball game, every play so critical, you feel like you've got to find a way to come up with that football. That was put in a great spot, but it just didn't want to stick in his hands. That's a big letdown. Again, Herbert. He gets it to Johnston. And he is out of bounds, but not before he's inside the 30. 23 yards the pick up there. Tell you what, he's been able to put the ball in some tight spots all game long. That throw, no different. Yeah, a lot of people would call it a gutsy type of a throw. I think he looks at it as, I can do it, so it's not that big of a deal to me, and I'm going to keep firing. They'll fake the handoff. Now Herbert. 
And that going to be incomplete. Too tough to hold on to that one. It's second down. This is certainly a team that has proven it likes to target its backs through the air and defensively. They were aware of that and certainly were prepared on that throw. Once again, they'll come up on the 26-yard line, second and 10. Now this is going to be a quarterback draw. And he is going to lose yardage here. Two yards the loss, and now third and 12. Now they were going draw play there. The defense wasn't fooled. They sniffed it out. I think they're going to have to go back and take a few more acting classes because that's what a lot of that is. You've got to influence them to think that it's going to be a pass play and have them drop out and maybe the defensive front coming forward and find yourself some space. In this case, no one was fooled and ended up spilling that play pretty well. Not only did he have a chance to scan the field there, it felt like he had a chance to scan it twice. The protection was that good. Unfortunately for him, the coverage downfield, equally good. So the field goal unit is on the field as this is a big spot right here. This to break our fourth quarter time. And this one is right down Broadway. And they have taken the lead here in the fourth quarter. So he waited on the sideline for his first chance in the ball game, and it didn't come until the fourth quarter, but he connects there, a big one to give him the lead. Boy, you talk about coming in cold. I don't care how many times you kick it into a net. You're not really ready when you go out there and all that beef is coming at you trying to block the kick. Big spot, and he delivers. Here's Dicker now as he'll send this one away. Scott on the return, out of the end zone. That ultimately cannot get this out to the 25-yard line as he's dropped at the 23. The Bears offense now getting ready to take over. And now they find themselves trailing following the field goal. Still a good amount of time in this fourth quarter, but this drive very well could determine the outcome of this ball game. That's complete to his running back, Herbert. And he's able to get this one up to his 30 before he's out of bounds. Just about every quarterback is trained to really look downfield first before you come back and make a nice, safe throw. And in this case, that's exactly what he did. Found his running back, let him create some space, and it turned out to be a nice play for the offense. On second down, here's Fields. And that is incomplete. Had an open man that time, but ended up putting a little too much heat on it, don't you think, partner? Absolutely. Just needed a touch more air under it. Instead, he fired an absolute bullet. As big of a play as we've had in this one so far. This is third and three. Now Fields. Oh, he had him. He was open, but he couldn't get it to him. It's incomplete. Well, the other day they told us, well, we've got third and five or less. We have to be able to convert. And I guess every team would say that, Charles, but an opportunity miss there. What they were trying to tell us is they believe it's a matchup game at that point. And they liked some matchups that they had, thought they could exploit them, unable to do so on that play. On fourth down, the punt team is on as this is sent away. Davis now to return it. Just a net of 34 there following a punt of 44 yards. And it will be first and 10 as they take over. Herbert and the Chargers now with a first and 10 at the 33-yard line. They'll try and start this drive in the air. They'll get this out wide to Eckler. And they'll get it up just short of the 45 at the 44. Well, how about this aggressive approach? Got the lead, fourth quarter, continuing to throw the football. Are you thinking about Super Bowl 51? <laughs> Atlanta had the lead against New England, just, and they ended up giving it up. I was going to say, don't say it, but you did say it. it I did, didn't I? Yeah, anybody watching Atlanta, our apologies. Three points separating these two sides with two minutes left to go in the fourth. And not totally home free yet, but it's looking good as they come up first and ten. And I think this defense knew what was coming as he is smothered behind the line. Let's go, baby. 
You'd have to think likely another running play coming here, second and 11. Herbert running left off the option. And this one also slow and developing as he's maybe getting back here to the line of scrimmage, but not much more than that. Backed up here, tough spot, needing 11 yards to pick up the first. Now Herbert. And he can't get a throw away. He's taken down. And now we're going to get a timeout defensively. So another stop, 150 left in the football game. Here's J.K. Scott now, as he'll punt it away for the fourth time today. Fair catch called for and made at the 16 or maybe the 17-yard line. So now Fields and the Bears down 31-28, a minute 45 to play. Now they need, at minimum, three points out of this as they come up first and 10. Back to throw, Fields. Dancing to his left. And he'll protect himself at the end here as he winds up getting pretty decent yardage. I do think it's fair to say that they were caught off guard a little bit when he decided not to throw it on first down. But give them credit, they recovered in time to deny him the first down yardage. But it's only second and short. So that run is still likely to lead to a new set of downs. Now Fields. Dropping this underneath with Herbert. And he'll be brought down right at the 30 here. No timeout. You got to go quick here. Final minute. No timeouts at their disposal. Here's first and 10. And he can't get a throw off. He's taken down. What a huge play at this point in the game. Khalil Mack in there to drop him as that clock continues to run. Brandon, you got us some urgency here. You got to get the guys back to the line of scrimmage, but the problem is they're all 30 yards downfield after that play. Here comes second down. Here's Fields. He'll get that underneath to Herbert. Oh, and what a nice tackle there. That will hardly move the needle at all offensively. A very short game. throw here for Fields. And it's incomplete. So their final drive comes up empty. And with that, the ball game is over. A fun, close ball game comes to an end. On that last play, Charles, they were on the wrong side of midfield. They needed something near a miracle, and they couldn't get it done. Yeah, the effort, that was good. Very good, in fact. They were just a little too far out to get a decent look at the end zone for that last opportunity. Couldn't get it done, but a nice game overall. So that'll do it for us, for Charles Davis and all our crew. I'm Brandon Gordon. You've been watching the NFL on EA Sports. From Southern California, so long, everybody.